but that's alright. As you will see, my biceps are pretty small. But no worries, that means there's plenty of room to grow. Okay, so this is the beginning of my bicep fitness challenge journey. 30 days of 100 bicep curls each arm. Woo! Let's hope that I can grow them a little bit. I wanna see what happens to the body, what happens to the arms from doing 100 repetitions on each arm. Is an increase in the reps equal to an increase in the strength and the muscle mass? I'm the guinea pig here. I'm just experimenting so that you guys can see what happens when you do 30 days of 100 of these. To start with, I've gotta measure them and then I measure them at the end of the 30 days and see how many centimeters they've grown, if any. <laughs> this is really weird though, because I've never measured my biceps before. And we'll see how big they are just relaxed and then how much, how big they are tensed. Then 30 days of 100 bicep curls every single day. All right, day one, let's get started. And so we started measuring. And these are the numbers that we got. Tiny, I know, but don't worry, we're working on it. I'm starting off with the simple nine kilogram dumbbells. Hopefully I can build it up, progressive overload, and we'll see what I get to on day 30. I'm gonna do 10 sets of 10, and I'm gonna break it up into five different variations of the bicep curl. Now I also want this to be an engaging and useful video without too much wishy-washy. So I'm gonna keep it short and punchy all the way up to day 30 where we can re-measure my biceps and answer the big question. How much will they grow after 30 days? So on day one, I pumped out the first 50 relatively quickly. And after a 70 each arm, I had to drop the sets to about five reps. By the time I finished the full 100 reps, my biceps felt like spaghetti. So I went to bed feeling pretty nervous for day two, knowing that my arms were gonna be pretty sore. And then as soon as I began day two, I knew this was going to be a long 30 days. All right, day two of my bicep curling challenge. <laughs> Get it. But I just kept pushing through the discomfort, picking up the weights to pump out another hundred. Ah, my biceps are killing me from yesterday. My muscles are gonna be so sore in the next few days. I'll tell you an interesting thing I found is when I do one hand separately, it feels a lot easier to doing double arm bicep curls. I guess it's because you're not giving yourself the rest or the swing. Maybe I'm like focusing all my muscle on one arm. That's probably really boring, but I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> Oh boy, I feel like they're gonna pop. They're like, it feels like it's like I've blown up a balloon. They're just gonna like explode. It's so sore. And as I pushed on, slowly the hopelessly weak feeling in my biceps became less and less, and the soreness started to go away. I can only guess that like my biceps were being forced to adapt to the overload style of training and recover faster. 80. <laughs> ah, 10 more to go. Oh man, my biceps. <laughs> So I kept pushing through the discomfort. Sometimes I had to break it up into two sets of 50. Because my arms are just so tight and they just feel super depleted. This is day 15, curling dumbbells. My biceps felt like they were becoming used to the nine kilograms and it wasn't feeling so effective. This is the last day curling the nine kilograms. So I decided to increase the weights to 15 kilograms. And so as difficult as it was, I kept pushing out 100 reps with heavier weights for the next two weeks. <laughs> Makes your muscles feel like so depleted. Ah, boy. Like the last 30, 40, 50 reps on each arm are just like painful. It's good though. I think we're making progress. 15s are feeling easier. All right, the gyms have opened back up. So today I'm doing the curls in the gym, but they don't have 15 kilogram dumbbells. So I'm increasing to 16. All right, let's get our 100 done. Ah! So what tends to happen with my last 50 reps on each arm, I end up having to drop them down to sets of five. It just turns into a bit of a grind. It takes a while, <laughs> but you just gotta keep pushing through. Another day, another 100 curls. It's 20 done, 80 more to go. Tell you what, it doesn't get any easier, huh? Just like, maybe I get a little bit stronger, but you know, you just put more effort in. Oh boy, straight away, my first set of 10, my biceps are already sore, <coughs> done. 
All right, it's day 30, the big day is finally here. Now, I actually haven't measured my biceps since day one, so I've got no idea how much they might have grown over these past 30 days. But I'm super excited to find out, so here we go. blown away. I honestly thought that 30 days of bicep curls wasn't necessarily going to make me grow at all. I don't know why. I just thought like I haven't had a huge success in terms of muscle growth with my previous 30 day challenges like my push ups and my pull ups. So I kind of just thought it was just one of those things where it's like 30 days just isn't enough. I'm pretty... I'm pretty stoked with that. Now, obviously, like, the measurements, yeah, it's hand measured, so it's not going to be completely exact. I appreciate that. But we tried to get as accurate as we, as we possibly could because, yeah, we measured the exact same way. So even just kind of feeling it and looking at it, I definitely feel like it's grown a little bit, which is awesome. So there you go, guys. That brings us to the end of the 30-day challenge of curling my biceps every single day. It was a challenge. I'm not going to lie. felt so excessive sometimes. Like, I... What happened is I always got to 50 and I was like, had a huge pump and my biceps were like burning and then I had to do another 50 and it just felt pretty excessive. But that's only 30 days. So imagine doing that for like three or four months or six months. If you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on my future videos. Trust me. Don't forget to try and challenge yourself this week and I will see you next week.